What's up YouTube? Agent Zero here and today I'm going to be doing a comparison video between Euro's Gift and Hollow Earth. Two legendary auto rifles in Destiny 2. So the first thing to note is these are two different archetype guns. The Hollow Earth is a 720 rounds per minute auto rifle while Yurio's Gift is 450 rounds per minute auto rifle. So each of those definitely are very different. If you take a look at the stats you have to kind of take them with a grain of salt. While the stability looks like it's better on the Hollow Earth because of the faster RPM it definitely isn't on the initial trigger pull. So with that being said the aim assistance category that I like to talk about before we get into the rest is stronger on the Hollow Earth than Uriel's Git. So now that we've talked about that, we've seen some of the stats where Uriel's Gift is has better range and does more impact, but that's because it's 450 rounds per minute. Hollow Earth has better stability, although that's kind of skewed because it's a 720 round per minute auto and definitely has a much larger magazine size. So let's get into the perks. The Hollow Earth has ricochet rounds, which your bullets ricochet off of those hard surfaces, and it also has Zen Moment. The longer you are shooting at a target and hitting that target, the more stable this gun becomes, so it's definitely a very awesome perk. Uriel's Gift has high caliber rounds, which is definitely an amazing perk. It can stagger targets. It also has Tap the Trigger, which grants a short period of increased stability and accuracy on initial trigger pull. So now that we've gone over some of the stats and we've taken a look at some of the perks, let's get into the subjective part of the review where I give you my opinion on each of these two guns and which one I prefer and why. So first, let's talk about PvE. Hollow Earth is definitely set up for PvE. It has ricochet rounds, which is definitely useful, and Zen Moment, which again is another very useful perk, especially when boss battles are occurring. Uriel's Gift has high caliber rounds, which is definitely awesome. You get to knock your targets back further, it staggers your targets. However, I'm never, I've never really been a fan of Tap the Trigger. It doesn't really feel like it does much. Overall, with the higher magazine size, Zen Moment, Ricochet Rounds, I'm giving my PvE advantage to Hollow Earth. Now let's talk about PvP. Both of these guns, again, are very good for PvP, but they are two very different guns. This is kind of like comparing an auto rifle to a slower fire rate submachine gun. And depending on your play style, you could like one or the other. The Hollow Earth I did better with when I was actually in faster paced game modes, such as Control. When I'm trying to capture those areas, I'm running in the, around the map a lot more. Uriel's Gift I found I did better when I was in game modes that are slower, such as Clash or Supremacy, and I was taking my time, staying with my teammates, and just trying to get those kind of medium range battles. Obviously, Hollow Earth is going to be better as the fight goes on. The longer that gunfight goes on, the better Hollow Earth is getting because of Zen Moment. Overall, though, if I had to choose just one, like I said, I kind of prefer them in their different game modes, but if I had to choose just one for PvP, I'm giving my edge to the Uriel's Gift. Overall, I definitely enjoy using both of these guns. But if I had to choose just one of these guns, I'm actually going to give it to the Hollow Earth. It's definitely a very good gun. It definitely melts in both PvE and PvP. So, overall... Both of these guns are definitely very good. I definitely recommend holding on to both of them if you can, but I just prefer the Hollow Earth a little bit better. Well, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more Destiny 2 content. Well, until next time, peace!